I think it's Hello? A, I think the overlay is weird. Oh my god, I did it. Whoa. That was yeah, way too you're loud. live. That you're was live. Way with too Dan loud. Thank you for calling low well, value mail. How you doing, man? It's Andreas. I just talked to you yesterday. How Andreas, you doing, baby? Andreas, my man. What's up, Andreas? <laughs> I, met, I, met, I met Andreas at Tim Pool's house. Okay. I love you and, both. Well, Andreas, Andreas, actually, we were just talking about this. We so. were. I have to answer this question. I heard a rumor, and Danny says this is just a, a standard operating procedure. Uh, uh, that is it true that when you, oh, when you go to Tim Pool's right. house, is it true that you have to take off your shoes and that when you guys are live, nobody has their shoes on? Oh, man, it's like so back and forth. It used to be the main fundamental rule because Ian was all about it. But then the cat was peeing on the floor all the time. So eventually we started wearing loafers around the house. It got complicated. Dude, I have a Actually, cat the same loafers now. that Stein wears. Well, good. Well, dude, I, got, I got my mom's cat. No, first of all, I'm a cat nut. I toxoplasmosis. That's a parasite in the fecal matter. That's that crazy. actually, I know toxo. And I honestly, now that you say that. Oh, I, I have think you it. might have it. Yeah, I'd like lick my cat. That's clearly what's going on. When people like cats a little too much, but exactly. it also gives you that extra energy. You've seen those girls. Oh, you know. dude, it makes me a beast. I'm literally like a baby lion. But no, when the cat, the cat will just pee randomly on the hardwood floor. It's so annoying. It's the most annoying thing. So so the, then you guys went to loafers. I know. Now I kind of feel your appeal. I was pain. wearing those Japanese sandals. You've seen those with the mud and they're like big wood blocks. Yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. multicultural, Andreas. And then, you know, it's, it's funny you called in. Uh, Jorge Ventura was telling me a story, too about you picked him up and you were playing Ethiopian music. Is that true, Andreas? What is Ethiopian Probably. music? Probably. I like Ethiopian music, Eritrean music. <laughs> Did you know Sega? Sega is a kind of music. If you look up Sega, Sega there's Genesis? like a whole Caribbean thing. Yeah, well, of course, there's Sega FM with the, the, the auto-tune vaporwave. But no, there's a Caribbean. Sega is like an island culture. And then I like Turkish music a lot. You know, I like Turkish, to be cool and dude. Turk they have the good Moroccan hashish in Turkey, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, did we lose him? Are you there? still better? Yeah, oh, yeah. there he is. <laughs> By the way, someone says Dave Canada because we were just talking about this too. And Dave Canada goes, Americans wear their shoes inside. And he's from Canada. See, I was just telling uh, Alex how it's just this weird thing. Canadians don't wear their shoes. He said inside. he never wore his shoes. In never that wore my shoes inside someone's house once in my life. That. Uh, so cool. I mean, uh, a lot of people I know are like that, but we do live in this chaos. Uh, in Minnesota, we have to take off our boots when we come inside. That's so just I guess common that's sense. That kind of makes sense, though. You it's gotta fucking snow sloppy boots. and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but let's say you're a cowboy in Texas. So you have to remove no, your boots No, dude, all the time. no. And, and that's what he was saying. He's like, you know, Temple's house is a beautiful big house. I'm like, but still, if you're in the most beautiful big house in Texas, you're keeping on your shit kickers. And like, you're dude, walking around. Been, you're not taking off your boots. I, Growing up in Silicon Valley, I used to go over to this house. There's this rich mansion for the Silicon Valley, uh, you know, tech person, and she was Japanese. She'd have everyone take put on these little booties over their shoes to come inside. She that's like the COVID. Like that. that was yeah, like, a, like the I feel like the COVID stuff. shit. Yeah, like where they go, Dude, COVID, little... COVID culture existed in California oh. since uh, what the MRSA in 2008 it, it, because the, people were had antibiotic resistant staph infection so it was already kind of a thing you know in the in the major cities like san jose dude you always saw in new york or, or before covid it was always asian people always had masks on them oh dude that i went common, i went to yeah. asia in 2007 and i mean it's just like dude there's gonna be this this uh class not class but group of people who are never going back to not wearing masks, oh, just yeah. like in Asia, who, you know, they had shit, and they're just cer certain people are like, yeah, I'm never not wearing a mask. Yeah, George ever. Washington wouldn't shake hands. He was always about bowing, you know? Mm -hmm. he, the plague the plague changes people. Wait, George sure. Washington didn't shake hands? Is that true? Yeah, he was super against it. He was like, that is too close up. And because they, they were trying to be all Roman, and they wanted to do a kind of a in-between thing. He didn't like to do it. Well, it's funny so you say that because Howard Stern and, like, I think Trump started to shake hands, but back in the day, Howard Stern and Trump used to not shake people's hands for that same reason. Totally germs. Really? Yeah, yeah, he was totally... Yeah, I can see Howard Stern. Germs. I know, um... Howie Mandel's a... Yeah, Howie Mandel's a... Very noted ge yeah, germaphobe. Yeah. He's been germaphobe forever. Um, so they love COVID. Andrea, so what's favorite. up? What's up, Andrea? So yep. I, was trying, I was trying to think about how... Earlier, you're saying talking about things, people need data dumps, but then also how to be crazy and that people just love that it encourages you. So, you know me, I'm obsessed with Atlantis and Tartaria. Yeah. I wanted to let people know about the reset. How do you get people to know about the truth? And even though it's already weird. You know, actually, you know, giving some advice on this because I am into Tartaria. 
But it's like, dude, we'd have to somehow make fun of all like the World's Fairs and all those big expositions. I don't know how, but uh, because I don't know, Danny, what your what your level of knowledge is on uh, Tartaria. But I like, have no idea. Yeah, you have no idea. So I have no idea. Explain to me what it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Andreas will do a little better. But basically, do you guys know each other? By yeah, that? of course. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So cool. the timeline that we live in is, as they say, is not correct. And you look at these old buildings; they all had like these big spires. So, and 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 also, you look at guys like Nikola Tesla. That there was other forms of energy energy before we had it and then like they even say there's like computers from egypt right have you ever seen i've that? heard yeah yeah so I've it's like how that. would this work so so and then the fact that technology has gone from like you know your iphone one to now it's like a supercomputer in your pocket it's just there's hidden tech is what they say and right andrea so so and you're, you're you know it better than me but like what do you think the timeline is and i guess the only way to wake people up to it like danny's kind of like scratching his head like what are these guys no no, no. i'm i'm into this shit i'm not like super but i like learning about this stuff i like hearing about this and what they say is like there's a huge flood and that's what like uh and i was just spoke at the rockwall city council meeting andreas you know they have a huge rock wall that was under dirt i mean do you, you know about rockwall uh texas andreas Totally, yeah. Like the, they have this whole mud flood thing. So there's, if you look at Galveston, for example, all of these places, you're finding these hit, like basically cathedrals even that are underground. It's crazy. But yeah, what did you see there? They have underground cathedrals in Galveston, Texas. Yes, dude. They have stuff underground. From they, what? They a, what? A, a, so you remember? You remember uh, Danny watching cartoons growing up? Like there was all these cartoons where they go down the mud level, and then underneath the mud level, there's like a guy and a statue and a dinosaur. Yeah, and a whole civilization. And that cartoon is real, basically. Dude. If you start looking for the Back to the Future, what happened with the records getting and, and like, in and can you go listen. like in Galveston? Can you go on like a tour? No, no. But do they acknowledge these exist? Yes. Well, in Rockwall, they named the city Rockwall because they found underground this huge wall made of bricks and rocks that looked like it was like defending a castle or something. It was just randomly under the ground. From what we, year? Exactly. They don't know, dude. That's the whole thing. It's they like, haven't even like. It doesn't make sense on the timeline, dude. Uh, radiometric dating, carbon dating is like such bullshit, dude. Uh, but but know. so but but when do they at least say it's from? They so, don't even know. Uh, so one of the craziest things about the calendar is this idea that. Half of the years are stacked on top of each other by the Jesuits in 1500s, 1600s. Like, so they, we don't even really have a correct chronology for the last 2,000 years because it's shuffled. And, you know, they said at one point, Andres, you know, you ever heard that, you know, how the year is really 13, 28 days. And at, at one point, they like the calendar was less than 13. But like at one point, there was maybe a calendar that was 13, 28 day months. Have you ever heard that theory? Absolutely. So the Mayans have 13 moons. Then there's, if you look at the October 10 month calendar, then they added uh, the Augustine, Julius August to Caesar. So you get 12, but 12 is 31, 30, and then 29, 28 sometimes because they, the reason is because they just took 13 moons and then they cut it into this calendar that's all messed up but that's also why george washington's birthday is off and they had like the phantom time hypothesis there's a whole bunch of 11 days removed in 1740s because of the well, calendar and i want to say oh why just because they lost those days over time well, eventually, like, or what the are they at least coming in the wrong time? And you know, also they, the the other thing is that the Gregorian calendar was only used in certain places. Ro Russians didn't use the calendar until twenty, you know, 19, like nineteen twenty. So they don't and, know. And Everyone's calendars are different. I mean, I mean yeah, Jew Jews Jews are still on fucking like they think it's the year fifty eight hundred. Right, well, hey, but have you seen like the pygmy people where they'll like find people they don't even know they're with how old they are because they don't have a modern calendar? Have you ever seen that? Dan? No. Yeah, well, like they'll find somebody that you know. There's still tribes of people that are yeah, yeah. Like we, for and, sure, and they'll like talk to him, and they're like, "How old are you?" Like, I don't know. <laughs> they, they don't know. They they're don't just, even know how they old they are. are. And but they're like, <laughs> they live in kind of like off the grid, where they're like, oh, the where they're just the like, grid, no well, grid, yeah, yeah, where they're like, who cares how old they are? But because they don't use the same calendars as we do, they don't know. And I saw this video. How many birthdays have you had, Danny? Uh, I would guess I've had 37. You had one birthday, bud. You were born Whoa. one time. Wow, yes. that was amazing. That's a trick question. Yeah, I know, but I learned that from <laughs> Prince. Um, and then Prince he, the he has, singer? Yeah, Prince the singer. He didn't, you knew him? He didn't celebrate his birthday. No, it was, uh, it was, he was in his But he knew show. about Tartaria, and he talked about the black presidents. He's he, pretty impressive. Yes, no, Prince is the man. He was awesome. Okay, but real quick, let's try to wake people up to Tartaria. I don't know, dude. Those, like, huge expositions and maybe those spy Like, I don't know. I mean, who who killed all the uh, people? Who killed the elephants with the uh, with the DC current? In front the of elephants? Them? You know what I'm talking about? Dude. Not Nicholas Tesla, but who is his rival? What's his name? Uh, Edison. Edison, yeah. Edison, yeah. So, I mean, obviously Tesla had better tech than, than Edison. So, I don't know. Maybe if we could somehow, like, teach people, like, how Edison was bullshit i don't know dude it's a hard topic it's a it's tough really one all right we gotta we gotta there's yeah. no there's no like advice them. that we could give you here unfortunately that was pretty sexy though actually but that was dude thanks advice. for calling in man that was fucking that was cool man, that was uh 
Real coast to coast vibes. We got to come back on the show soon. You got to come back when you know when I'm on the show, Danny. It's gonna get conspiratorial. I love it, dude. Yeah, I, this is yeah. I've said before. I go. I want the show to be like coast to coast, and then maybe one day I'll make this shit like four hours. Yeah, dude. dude I've been... Magic, magic Disney moment. All right, oh, I'll yeah. talk to you guys soon. Later, hey, dude. see you soon.